Okay, so I'm gonna do a video, you guys, on modeling parabolas. So let's say um, I don't have like a given scenario, but let's say that this is the graph I'm working with. So it's something starting at zero zero, and then it's got the parabolic shape, and then I'm gonna have it end at ten. Okay, and then let's say that whatever it is, be it a, a ball, a football, anything that's going from the ground up reaches a height of 12. So at this point, you have to be able to figure out what your vertex is. And hopefully we know that the vertex is centered between the x-intercepts. So I am going to say, okay, it went 10. So the center of that is 5. So the vertex is 5, 12. Okay, now your vertex is also HK in graphing form. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to say what I know right now is this. So this is my graphing form, and then I'm going to fill in my H and K. So Y equals A times X minus my H value, and then plus my K value. Now, the only thing that we have to figure out still is A. Okay, so this is where you have to pick one of the other points you know and plug it in for x and y okay so we know this point here is zero zero for sure and we know this other point is ten zero so i usually pick the easier one which i think is zero zero but again it doesn't matter so i'm going to plug in zero for y and zero for x and then i'm going to solve from here okay so I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. So I get negative 12 equals A times 0 minus 5 is negative 5. So this is where I'm at. Now I have to square 5, which is 25. And then last step is divide by 25 to get A alone. Okay. If you can reduce this, go ahead and reduce it. But negative 12 and 25 you can't reduce that any further. So that is my A value. So your final answer is Y equals negative 12 over 25. And then you're just basically rewriting this same equation just with your A value filled in. So I found my A value, and then it's X minus 5 squared plus 12. And then that is your graphing form.